Welcome to the Tandem Talk Show, where we help women dial in their nutrition and fitness so that they can lose fat, tone up, and transform their lives. And now your host from Tandem Nutrition, Coach G. Yo, hey, what is up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Tandem Talk Show, the number one show for women who are looking to lose body fat, tone up, and transform their lives in a healthy and sustainable way. In today's episode, we're going to be going over the three specific dieting strategies and mistakes causing you to keep regaining weight. Okay, so the three specific dieting mistakes that are causing you to keep regaining body weight. Now, before we get into today's episode, a couple ways that you can support this podcast is if you love it, screenshot it, share it to your Instagram stories, tag me at Tandem Nutrition, or leave me a review on Apple Podcasts. And a big thank you to everyone who already supports the Tandem Talk Show. Seriously, your support means the world to me. And I really appreciate all the reviews, all the comments, all the tags. Um, I really do enjoy doing these podcasts and knowing that you're getting value from them means the world to me. So thank you so, so much. All right. Now to get into today's episode, um, I am very passionate about this topic. I'm very passionate not only about losing body fat in a healthy way, but equally as importantly, keeping it off. Okay. There's no sense in trying to lose body fat if you have no exit plan. And a lot of people, unfortunately, enter, in, enter into their diet with no idea how to keep the weight off. And so, so in today's episode, we're going to be talking about three dieting mistakes that are causing so many people to keep regaining weight. And why is this so important? And this is this is so important because 90% of people who actually start a diet, they actually regain the weight they've lost. 90%. That is huge. That is nine people out of 10. So though it may seem simple, there's there's must be a gap in the industry about how to lose body fat and keep it off. Like you hear all about people talking about the most effective diets and strategies to lose body fat, but no one ever talks about how to lose fat and keep it off. In fact, I believe that most of <clears throat> today's diet programs and especially fad diets are incentivized to teach you everything they know about how to lose body fat or lose body weight, but not tell you how to keep it off. That way they stay in business. That way they keep making money from you, buying their products, buying their services, buying their supplements, whatever it takes to help you help you get results, get excited, and then something comes up, you regain weight, and you go back to their product once again. And so here at Tandem, we have created a sustainable solution for women to help them not only lose body fat in a healthy and sustainable way, but to also teach them how to keep it off. Notice I, I use the word teach. We don't uh, do it for them. We educate them through coaching, through uh, through education, through practical application, personalized and customized programs for them so they know exactly how to lose body fat and how to keep it off forever. Okay, so again, today's topic, we'll be going over three mistakes that I see so many people make when it comes to losing body fat, but not being able to keep it off. The first mistake, the first mistake is dieting for too long. Let me know in the comments if you if you know of someone who it seems like they're dieting forever, right? It seems like they're always trying to lose the last five or 10 pounds. Like I know I do, right? We all know that one person or two people or a few people who are always, always, always dieting, who are always dieting. And that is such a negative negative act toward dieting and achieving sustainable fat loss. And here's why. The body is not meant to be dieting for long periods of time. Because what's really interesting is that when we diet down, we're in a calorie deficit, our bodies don't realize that we're trying to lose weight for cosmetic reasons, right? Like it doesn't know that we're trying to lose weight to change our shape or to change how we look. It simply sees dieting 
and being in a calorie deficit as a threat to our survival. Okay. It sees it as, Hey, there's a scarcity of food and I have to do all like your body's primary responsibility is to keep you alive. And the way that it does that in light of a calorie deficit is by down regulating hormones that cause your body to burn fewer calories at rest. Plus it ignites hunger hormones. So it makes you hungrier and it makes you more tired and it causes, in turn, causes you to burn few, fewer calories at rest. So you're having more cravings, you're sitting more, and there are some the hormones like thyroid that begin to downregulate. Now, that's not a bad thing. Like that's that's needed for survival. Like your body is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. The negative thing comes in is when you take that 12 or 15 week diet or fat loss phase. And you try to push that for to six, eight, 10, 12, or even worse, like 15 months. Like the body, the longer and longer you try to lose body fat, the harder and harder it is, especially the more and more weight you lose. And so the number one reason, one of the top three reasons why people continue to regain weight is because they diet for so long, their metabolism has adapted to such great extent that they have to keep eating fewer and fewer and fewer calories, which isn't sustainable, nor is it healthy. And they have to keep doing more and more and more exercise to keep maintaining a calorie deficit. Sooner or later, you know, life hits you. You go on a vacation. You uh, go out to eat. You, you go on um, maybe a trip with some friends. And you end up splurging. You wake up. You, you're eight pounds heavier. Like, why did this happen? Mostly it's water retention, but in most people's eyes, they see that as fat gain and they get really, really frustrated. And so what do most people do? Most people say, you know what? I worked this hard to see eight pounds of weight gain. Like, why am I even doing this? They give up, okay? So one of the best strategies you can take is to not diet more than 12, 15, 20 weeks at a time. And that's part of our fat loss journey system here at Tandem Nutrition, we do not diet clients <clears throat> for more than 12 to 15 weeks, okay, for one dieting cycle. Uh, now, there's multiple dieting cycles throughout one fat loss journey, but we help to maintain our clients' metabolism in the healthiest way possible by keeping their dieting phases rather short. Again, 12, 15, maybe 20 weeks max. So what that does is that prevents the client from having metabolism that adapts to such a low level that they have to be on so few of calories to keep seeing the scale go down. So do not make the mistake of eating so few calories over a long period of time because that can make some long-term changes to your, your metabolic rate that could make it very, very, very difficult uh, to lose weight. And in fact, uh, you know, we've had a few clients come to us eating 1,200 or 1,100 calories and not being able to lose weight. And, and for months and years, they were doing that. In fact, I, I have some stories of clients who were even fasting before they came to us, fasting for three days in a row, thinking that if they just ate fewer calories, they'll lose more weight. And that's not the answer. It's not healthy. It's not sustainable. And so a lot of times we have to start our clients in what we call our metabolic reset phase to, to recalibrate, to reset, to revive their metabolism so they can begin losing weight in a healthy way. So that is the very first mistake I see a lot of times when people want to lose weight, they diet for extreme lengths of time. Again, not healthy, not sustainable. And when you're dieting correctly, trust me, you do not want to diet more than 12 or 15 weeks because you're doing it right. You're losing weight every single week. And if you're doing it correctly, you don't need six months. You don't, need eight, you don't even eight, need eight months. You need less time than that if you're doing things correctly. Dieting steak number two. The, this is another big one I hear all the time that I wish people would change their perception when it comes to dieting. People think that the diet itself is the complete fat loss journey. Okay, so let me repeat that. People think that the diet itself is the complete fat loss journey. And that is a big mistake. The diet or the fat loss phase is just 25% of the entire fat loss journey. So when you get to a point where you start a diet and you end a diet, you're going to celebrate and you're done, you're only 25% there because there has to be a method and a system and there has to be sustainable strategies to get you back into intuitive eating 
while maintaining your goal body weight, eating more calories. You can't lose 20, 30 pounds and stay where you're at calorie wise. It's not going to happen. It's not sustainable. Again, it's not healthy. Most people try. Like when most people lose 15, 20, 30 pounds, they're excited. They think they're done. They do one of two things. Number one, they either try to maintain their now lower calorie intake, which is you know, maybe possible for three, four, five weeks, maybe a couple months, right? Again, until life hits them. They go out to eat. They go to a party. They give in to their cravings. Their hunger is at an all-time high. What happens? Weight regain. And then it just compounded over weeks and weeks and weeks. It, they give up. And they're either back to where they started or worse. Or number two, people achieve their goal weight and they're like, hey, I'm done. So over time, they try, they just gradually go back to how they were eating, both of which cause weight regain. So the dieting phase, which you call a fat loss phase, we have a very scientific approach that has been proven over the past five years. We've worked with over thousands of women who have helped us develop the system through our coaching team. And I'm really proud of our coaching team. They have worked with, uh, again, thousands of women in uh, around the world, uh, helping them with this exact system to help them not only understand the proper sequence of losing body fat, getting them to maintain their goal body weight. And the key to that is the third mistake, okay? Because number one was the diet too long. Number two is they think they're done after dieting, but that's just... That's just 25%. That's step one of four. What do you do after dieting? You have to increase your calories, right? Because when you diet down, you have to lower your calories. And that in turn lowers your metabolic rate, all right? People stop there. That's why they regain weight. You cannot stop there. What do you do next? You have to increase your calories slowly and gradually over time through what a phase that we've termed the metabolic reset phase. Again, that's called the metabolic reset phase. This is much different than reverse dieting. I am not a fan of reverse dieting, and I will never be a fan of, I don't say never. There are a few clients who psychologically need a slower increase in calories, but what the third mistake is they don't properly transition back into their new maintenance level, and that's done through a metabolic reset phase. A metabolic reset phase is a strategic and a calculated increase in calories back to your new maintenance level. Now, the goal is to maintain your body weight within three pounds throughout this phase. And typically, let's say you do a dieting phase for 12 weeks, you lose 15 pounds. Now you're ready to maintain your weight. The next step is to go throughout a metabolic reset phase. Our goal is to reset your metabolism because it was decreased throughout that fat loss phase. And our goal is to make this sustainable. We know that eating 13 or 400 calories is not sustainable. And so we have to eat very gradually um, upward in calories while maintaining that lower body weight, getting back to our new maintenance level. Now, once you've done that, you'll transition to what we call a maintenance phase. Now, this phase is so, so important because the maintenance phase is exactly how it sounds. It's going to help you maintain your weight by eating the same number of calories, same num and doing the same amount of cardio as well. So it's maintain your current structure of calories, cardio, and training. Because your body's always fighting for homeostasis. Like it's always working to get back to where it's most comfortable. And a lot of times that's a weight very similar to where you where you started your diet. So your body does this by igniting a few hormones like your hunger hormones and your appetite and also changes in changes in energy. Okay. And so throughout the metabolic reset phase, and especially, especially the maintenance phase, your body is slowly renormalizing your hunger and satiety cues, and also giving you more energy. Because that next step after the maintenance phase is the phase that everyone looks forward to. And that is the intuitive eating. Intuitive eating is essentially getting back into eating without tracking calories because everyone thinks that you have to track calories to lose weight. And well, in part, that's true. That is one method that we use in this system, but it's not to be done forever. Many people think that it's has to be done forever, but when done correctly throughout this phasic system, we're going to take you from, we're going to use it as a tool, a temporary tool to help you lose the body fat you want to and get you to a higher 
a higher calorie level, but being able to maintain your body weight because throughout this whole whole time, you're tracking your calories, you're weighing out foods, you're getting so much knowledge and skill with knowing exactly how, how many grams of protein you need, what 20 grams of protein looks like, what 35 grams of protein looks like, all these things that are so important in helping you understand how to build a healthy fat loss meal at each at each time you eat. So it's very important to understand this is just a process. And the biggest mistake is to think that number one, that you have to diet forever. That's a big mistake. Number two is thinking that, hey, you know what? After diet, I'm done and I'm completely finished. Dieting, the fat loss phase itself is only 25% of the entire fat loss journey. Again, there's a fat loss phase, there's a metabolic reset phase, there's a maintenance phase, and then there is intuitive eating. So it's very important that you take time to understand this process because too many people, there's too many people who are spending so much money, so much time, so much energy and effort who are sacrificing so much of their lives to lose weight only to regain it. And honestly, this is why I'm so passionate about this field because I want people, I'm very passionate about helping women break the change of the yo-yo dieting to live a life with fulfillment and happiness and joy and not being anxious around food and just being full of guilt or shame when they eat foods that they think once were unhealthy. And you know, I just want to let you know that if you're stuck right now, if you're not sure where to go next or how to transition to a phasic system right now, just you know, comment tone up. Let me know. DM me on Instagram. Say tone up. I will tell you more about our specific fat loss strategies that we have here at TAM that are helping women around the world lose body fat, tone up, and transform their lives in a healthy and sustainable way. So, hey, thank you so much for listening to today's episode. If, if you found value in today's episode, uh, please screenshot this episode, tag me in your Instagram stories, and stay tuned for our next episode. Uh, again, uh, we have a live video going to our Facebook group that you can join us at www.tandanutrition.com forward slash Facebook, and you'll get free access to more live videos like this that go right to our podcast. So thank you for everyone who supported our podcast who supports our podcast, and who listened to today's episode. God bless you. Have an amazing day and keep up the awesome work. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of the Tandem Talk Show. If you're enjoying the podcast, please feel free to rate, subscribe, and leave a review wherever you listen to your podcasts. We really appreciate that effort. Until next time.